being a little whiny on this show today, Stephen, but in a, it's okay. It's in a good way. Yeah, yeah it's, in a, it's in a good way. Yeah. We just chatted with Carolyn Fox from Mobile Meals about an upcoming wine-themed fundraiser, but wine takes time. Does. That rhymes. And <laughs> there's work involved in making it. My daughter said that yesterday. That rhymes. <laughs> yeah, but meteorologist Diane Phillips is busy with a grape harvest this morning. You got your little shears out there, Diane? You ready to go? I am actually going to get the lesson on how to harvest grapes just at the same time as you are. So I am here at Flying Otter Winery here in Adrian, kind of on the north side of Adrian, if you're familiar with the Tecumseh area, kind of right in the middle. So you can see these grapes. They're coming along here this morning. And uh, of course, we're going to do a little bit of harvesting. So I'm going to bring in Bob Otter. You are the owner here at uh, Flying Otter Winery. So first off, we are harvesting right now. So. Let's just jump right into it. How okay. do we harvest grapes? Harvesting is really easy. I can teach you in like two simple steps. Oh, I love Gra that. I love simple. Grab a hold of the bunch of grapes, take this grape fork, cut it off, put it in your harvest bin. Oh, okay. It couldn't be easier. All right, can I give it a go? Sure. All right. And let me know after you've done several tons what you think of it. Several tons? <laughs> okay, so we just kind of grab it here yeah. and then push along? Yeah. Oh. All right. Okay, and then we just throw it in here. So, is yep. this bin? That bin. How bin. how many of these would make a ton? Because I have a lot well, of work each, to do. Each bin holds about thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. And then okay. we, we pick those up here. We take them into the winery and begin the process of wine making. Okay. So in the case of reds, we we destem and crush and then ferment the the grapes. The grapes. Okay. So you've been saying that you've already been doing quite a bit of harvesting so right. far this season. So these are obviously the red grapes. Have you also done white grapes? Tell us how your harvest has been so far this season. Um, it's well overall it's been good. It's it's a little less than we've had in the last couple of years. Um, I think probably that dry summer held us back a little bit in terms of the, the size and the weight of the grapes, but uh, the, the chemistry, the sugars, and especially the acids, the acids are very low and it's going to make very good wine this year. Okay, and how long do you still have left of harvest? Because there's still a lot of grapes and I'm obviously we, talking and not working. We have. <laughs> We have three primary uh, varieties of reds that we grow, and we have two of those to finish harvest yet. And then we have six uh, varieties of whites, and those are all harvested. So, okay. We, we hope if we get if our pickers keep coming, we hope to be done by the end of the week. The end of this week. So hopefully, then the weather doesn't get in the way. And as we head into harvest, what kind of weather are you watching for in the forecast to get this project done? The ideal weather is warm, sunny days and cool nights. That that helps the sugars develop and the and the acids to to go down to a level that makes good wine. What we don't want is a lot of of rain. Okay. Okay, that'll that the, the grapes will absorb the, the rain, that'll reduce the sugar level. It promotes the fungus growth and rot and and so we really like warm, sunny days. Right, so we do have some sun, we have the warmth coming, but you said it's kind of dewy here this morning, so harvest wouldn't be starting as early. So why is that? Well, we don't want to pick the grapes when they're wet, when there's water on them. Again, that water after we've picked them will help promote fungus growth, and we don't want any of that to get started before we start the process of making wine. And also the water on the grapes will, will dilute the grape juice and and reduce the concentration of the sugars in the in the wine okay the and um, how many acres do you have here is this all the grapes that you use for your wine uh, this is all, these are all the grapes we use for our wine all the wine we make come from grapes that we grow here in our own vineyard it's eight acres of uh, a vineyard and we harvest you know 16 to 20 tons of grapes a year. Wow that sounds like a lot what does that actually <laughs> equate to to I kind of have a, a, a feel for what that is? That that would be approximately I think 14,000 bottles of wine. Wow that also seems <laughs> like a lot and um, of course you're going to be harvesting here tell us about the process once they're in this green bin then where do they go from there? Okay we pick up the bins here in the field here in the vineyard, we haul them back to the winery. We weigh each bin because the pickers get paid by the pound. 
And then if it's a red, we dump it right into our destimmer crusher. And okay. what comes out is, you know, it, it pulls all of the berries off of uh, what's called the rachis, the thing that makes it a bunch of grapes, and crushes them. That goes into a big open tank that's a fermenter, and then we start the fermentation process to make red wine. And if it's a white grape, you, you add an additional s step. So we harvest, we take them back, we crush them, we destem them, and we press them to make white grape juice. Okay. And then we ferment that grape juice. Oh, so there's still a lot of process to oh, go yeah. here yet Month, before we get for there. For several months. Okay, so we have a month's worth of time, but for those who want to maybe come out and taste the wine and they don't want to wait those months, tell us about your hours and what times can we come get a taste? We're open Wednesday through Sunday, and, and the hours vary. They're on our website. I won't go through them all, but <laughs> Saturday, Friday and Saturday are our major days. We're open afternoons, all evenings. We have live in entertainment every Friday and Saturday evening oh, from fine. 6 to 8 so we have a uh, food service for you know small plates okay. so it's uh, it's a great time and it's a beautiful view overlooking the vineyard it especially is. this time of year the colors as soon as we get done with the harvest the colors are going to start changing <laughs> it's interesting to see the vineyard once you pick those grapes the vines are dumped but oh. the leaves change color and they fall off right away they've done their job Fall's here. All right. Well, so fall is here. Harvest is going on right now. Make sure you uh, head on out here to Flying Otter. Maybe get a taste. Of course, harvest goes through this week. But if you do want to harvest, I'm pretty sure they're looking for helpers by uh, next year. So, Stephen and Amanda, grab your gloves. We're going to come back out here. We're going to get to work. Yeah, I want to do it. I've actually yeah. visited. Diane, thank you so much. Very interesting. Uh, you know, I actually visited this uh, winery back when I was off in August. So it was really a really beautiful piece of property, as he had mentioned. So it's so great to see the process and all that hard work mm -hmm. that goes into making that glass that's just so tasty. Just, just right. <laughs> yeah. Just right. So yeah, I think that would be really fun. I would love to get out there. Hey, good exercise. They're good paying by the, the pound, too, so yes. some extra money. I'll yeah, <laughs> I love that. All right. Well, we are in the dog days of summer for a couple more days here. Perfect for National Dog Week. So we asked and you You've been sending oh. us photos of your favorite canines like this one. This is Jesse. Yes, Jesse's having a really good day. Thanks to Sarah Yarbrough for sending this one in. I know, Sarah, we go right back, way back. Jesse is a Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Well, more pups and more good day on the way. We're back in a moment.